All right, so for day three, our first exercise is a step up with an overhead press. So we're gonna put that weight in the opposite arm, hold it right about shoulder height. We're gonna step up, drive the knee up, drive the arm up, and back down. So right through here. If you have trouble with the balance, you can step up, both feet on the box, drive the arm overhead. Okay. For our straightest anterior push-up, we're coming into our push-up position, option to be on knees or on toes. From here, what you're thinking about is spreading your shoulder blades apart and driving your fingers, your hands and fingers through the mat. So you don't want to be rounding out everything. You're working on spreading those shoulder blades apart. If this is easy for you, you can add a band just below your shoulder blades. And now you're spreading the band apart as you do that push-up plus. The next move is a complex, so you're going to do a squat to a reverse lunge. So you'll squat down, put the weight in the opposite hand of the leg that's forward, come back to a squat, switch sides. You can do this with a kettlebell, dumbbell, or without weight. Next we have an arm bar, which is great for shoulder stability. So we're coming down. One arm up in the air, other arm out to the side. Opposite leg straight, same side leg bent. You're pushing the weight toward the ceiling as you roll onto the opposite side, continuing to push that weight up toward the ceiling. So it should always be pushing perpendicular to the roof. Next, we're gonna work on some core control. So. We have our slow mountain climber. So this is also good for shoulder stability. So you're gonna come up into your plank, bring that knee up to your elbow, and then switch. As you come forward, you wanna think about rounding your back a little bit and bringing your knee up as far as you can to try and tap that elbow. Prone ER, you can do this on a step, a bench, the edge of your couch, whatever works best for you. Try it first without any weight. So you're gonna be lying down, Arms gonna be at um, even with your shoulder. You're gonna rotate that fist up toward the sky till it becomes even with the elbow. If that's easy for you, add a light weight, such as your phone, the remote, something close by. One to two pounds, what we're looking for here. Okay. And then for our core, we have our half kneeling paloff press. So grab something for your knee, come down into a half kneeling position with our band anchor, nice and tall, hips level here. From there, you're gonna push forward and back, making sure the knee and the foot are coming out directly from the hips and not any of this going on. So straight forward here, pushing straight from the chest and back. Great, we'll do both sides there. Last exercise is your eccentric heel raise. You can do this on a raised surface or step, or you can also do it on uh, just solid ground, whatever works best. We'd prefer it if your shoes were off as well. What you're going to do, you can come up with two, shift your weight over to one side, hold and own that top position, and then slowly lower yourself down. You'll do the same side for the appropriate number of reps, and then you'll switch sides. And that's day three.